Welcome to Stat Plus, where we equip you with the knowledge and insights to engage in smarter conversations wherever you go. In the previous video, we examined the major contributors to Delhi's air crisis and traced how the Green Revolution's success story, increasing India's cereal yield from 947 kilograms per hectare in 1960 to over 3,500 kilograms per hectare by 2022, inadvertently led to the practice of stubble burning. In today's video, we delve deeper into how stubble burning, coupled with co-occurring factors and seasonal weather patterns, jointly impact Delhi's air quality. Stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana occurs during October to November, following the Karif season's rice harvest. This prepares fields for sowing wheat, but the smoke from burning 20 to 25 million tons of paddy residue annually travels to Delhi, adding to its pollution woes. Data from the Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change shows a clear spike in Delhi's monthly average AQI during October and November. Between 2018 and 2023, October averaged an AQI of 219, while November's average rose to 340, with multiple days falling into the severe category that is 400 plus. While stubble burning contributes significantly, other factors amplify the pollution. Diwali celebrations, for instance, cause an average AQI increase of 92 points, so that is 34% between pre- and post-festival days. However, a more revealing comparison arises when we analyze the October-November block where average AQI is 284 against the January-February block where average AQI is 278, highlighting remarkably similar pollution levels, even though stubble burning does not occur during the latter period. January 2024 saw Delhi experience its coldest month in 13 years, with average maximum temperatures at 17.7 degrees Celsius and minimums at 6.2 degrees Celsius. The month recorded three severely polluted days, including its worst AQI of 447 on January 14th and 26 very poor air quality days. These statistics are strikingly comparable to those observed during the peak stubble burning season in October-November underscoring the multifaceted nature of Delhi's air pollution problem. While pollutants from stubble burning typically persist for about a week, they can trigger secondary aerosol formation, a process where gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxide transform into particulate matter. Research shows these secondary aerosols contribute approximately 25% to PM 2.5 levels across the year. Such gases are, in fact, released more extensively from thermal power plants, which emit about seven times more sulfur dioxide annually compared to stubble burning in the neighboring states. These secondary pollutants, formed through atmospheric reactions, typically persist for only up to a month, and thereby do not exert any influence on January-February AQI levels. The key to understanding Delhi's sustained winter pollution lies in mixing height, the vertical space available over the ground for pollutant dispersion. During summer, mixing heights are significantly higher, providing more room for pollutants to spread. For instance, in July, daytime mixing heights reach approximately 2,000 meters, with nighttime levels around 100 meters. In contrast, January sees daytime heights of about 900 meters and nighttime levels of 80 to 90 meters, while November shows daytime heights of 1,200 meters but drops to just 40 to 50 meters at night. This creates a lid effect during the cooler months, trapping pollutants close to the ground. Consequently, all pollution sources, domestic heating, vehicles, industries, construction, and stubble burning, see their impact amplified during winter months. The cold air trap, combined with near-zero rainfall when Delhi recorded 100% rain deficit in this past December-January, creates perfect conditions for pollution accumulation. As Delhi grapples with toxic air during its cooler months, it is vital to address the interplay of multiple pollution sources and seasonal weather factors. The health of millions depends on effective interventions, from curbing emissions at the source to implementing long-term urban planning strategies. Now let's hear from you. What solutions do you believe could effectively tackle Delhi's air pollution crisis? Stricter regulations, technological innovations, or public awareness campaigns? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Stat Plus to stay updated on more deep dives into critical environmental and policy issues. Whether you're at work, school, the gym, or catching up with friends over coffee, our content empowers you to contribute meaningfully to conversations on a wide range of topics. Have better conversations wherever you go.